Hello and welcome. This is me, Neve Goswami, and you're watching our live interactive session. You are watching our session at PM Evidya, channel number six. And with that, you're watching us on our YouTube channel, which is NCERT Official, as well NCERT PM Evidya uh, Class Six. So uh, today, the subject we are bring for you is maths, and that two of class six. And the topic that we bring to you. is a fractions part 4 and to elaborate this topic we are having in the studio a uh, miss swarnlata sharma who is president awardee teacher tgt mathematics mother mary's school new delhi ma'am a very warm welcome thank you neev hello viewers okay so we are super duper excited to learn about fractions part 4 but before that here is a piece of information for all of you and that is if you have any query if you want to ask us any question you can directly ask us on our contact number which is flashing on your screen and that is 8800 Double four zero double five nine. You can directly mail us at dth dot class six at the rate <coughs> ciet dot nic dot n. And if you are watching on our uh, and if you are watching us on YouTube channel, so you can directly ask your questions if you have any query in the live chat box. So without without any further delay, let's start our session, ma'am. Can yes. you begin? Yes. Sure, Neev. Okay. Uh, in the previous sessions, uh, Neev, you know, children had studied about what are fractions. They also studied about, you know, what is numerator, what is denominator, and how to simplify the uh, fractions in lowest terms. And uh, they also learned which fraction is bigger, which is smaller. So we are going to start with that today, and uh, we will discuss about comparison of fractions, like fractions, unlike fractions, and also addition of fractions. Okay. Right. We will do some activities also. Very interesting teaching aids I have for children today. So uh, let's begin. I think we will start with uh, how does the denominator control the fraction? We have here. If you share a pizza evenly among two people, you will get one upon two, right? Okay. And if you share a pizza evenly among three people, you will get one upon three. Just observe very carefully. Hmm. And if you share a pizza evenly among four people, you will get one upon fourth part, right? Okay. And how does the again denominator control the fraction? You see here. If you share a pizza evenly among eight people, you will get only one eighth. Right? Yeah. It's not hard to see that the slice you get becomes smaller and smaller, isn't mm. it? So, exactly. what do you conclude from this? The larger the denominator, the smaller the pieces. Mm -hmm. And if the numerator is kept fixed, Neev, then the larger the denominator, the smaller will be the fraction. That is, if a upon b is less than a upon c, whenever b is greater than c. Here I have. some uh, teaching aids for you children you can see here uh, here see as we have this one circle here i will be taking circles of same size neve you mm. know you, this is half so i can call it as half of fraction this is one half and this is also one half okay. just go on observing this portion this blue portion okay, okay. now when it is half of pizza i told you know mm. this portion represents 1 by 2 so i can call it as 1 upon 2 how the size of this portion gets reduced when it becomes 1 upon 3 you see here one portion is this this is another portion and this is third so this becomes 1/3 right okay. now if i have this one here see yes this has become still smaller than 1/3 isn't it yes and here just observe this is 1/6 because there are Six pieces. One, yes. two, three, four, five, six. six. All six pieces are same in size. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if I have eight pieces, just observe. The slice has even reduced, isn't it? Yes. Hana. If I again look at it once again, see. This is one upon two. Yeah. This is one upon three, and this becomes one upon four, mm -hmm. and this is one upon six. six. Okay. And this becomes one upon eight. eight. Should I show you how one upon twelve will look like? See here. This is one upon twelve. So thin slice, isn't yes. it? Yes. And this becomes one upon sixteenth because there are sixteen pieces here. Of same right. pizza. Yes. Okay. So one upon twelve 
is greater than 1 upon 16. Got Here it. we must keep in mind uh, children, I know in class they commit so many mistakes because of the misconception that 16 is greater than 12. Oh. So they write 1 upon 16 to be greater than 1 upon 12. 12. So children, I hope now you will remember forever that 1 upon 12 is greater than 1 upon 16. Alright, as the denominator increases, the size will decrease. Alright. All right. Hana, I mm. hope it is clear. Yes. Now, let us proceed further. We have here, see how does the numerator affect the fraction? Here it is 1 upon 16th, here it is 3 upon 16th and in the next it is 5 upon 16th. Okay. Do you see a pattern? Yes. When the numerator gets larger, we have more pieces mm. and if the denominator is kept fixed, the larger numerator makes a bigger fraction. Let us see some examples. Which one is larger here? We have 7 upon 12 or 5 upon 12? It is obviously 7 upon 12. 12. Now, which one is larger? Same way, 8 upon 20 or 13 upon 20? It is 13 upon 20. Likewise, we can see here 45 upon 100 or 63 upon 100. All right? Yes, ma'am. One way to answer this question is, to change the appearance of the fractions so that the denominators are of the same size. In this case, the piece of all of the same size, hence the larger numerator makes a bigger fraction. Here we can see this is first one 3 upon 8 and in the second figure we have 5 upon 12. All right. All right. So, how do we compare them? The straightforward way to find is a common denominator is to multiply the two denominators together. Okay, just observe 3 upon 8 and 5 upon 12. Okay. Hmm. So, 8 and 12, how do I make the common denominator? If I multiply 8 by 12 and here 12 by 8, I think I will get common denominators 96. Yes. I hope you understand. Yes. We will multiply the numerator also, children. 3 into 12 and upon 8 into 12, that gives me 36 upon 96. And 5 upon 12 is equal to 5 into 8 upon 12 into 8 that gives me 40 upon 96. Now, because denominators are same, we will just compare the numerators children. Which is greater here? 40 is greater than 36, 36. isn't it? Yes. It is easy to tell that 5 upon 12 is actually a bit bigger than 3 upon 8. I hope it is clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, we have like fractions and unlike fractions. What are like fractions? Fractions having the same denominator are called like fractions. For example, 2 upon 9, 4 upon 9, 5 upon 9, 8 upon 9 are all like fractions. What about unlike fractions? Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 1 upon 2, 3 upon 4, 5 upon 6, 7 upon 9 are all unlike fractions. Now, see how do you convert unlike fractions into like fractions because to compare them, we will have to convert them into like fractions. We have certain rules children. Suppose some unlike fractions are given, convert each of them into an equivalent fraction having a denominator equal to the LCM of all the denominators of the given fractions. Example, convert the fractions 1 upon 2, 2 upon 3, 5 upon 6 and 4 upon 9 into like fractions. How do we do it? The given fractions, you know, they have what the denominators 2, 3, 6 and 9, is not it? Yes. Let us find LCM of the denominators children. What is the LCM? Least common multiple of 2, 3, 6 and 9 is 18. Okay. okay, that okay. children know, I think they can calculate. Yes. And so, we convert each of the given fractions into an equivalent fraction with 18 as the denominator. Let us mm -hmm. see how. We have 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 into 9 upon 2 into 9. I have to multiply numerator and denominator by the same number. I will get 9 upon 18. What about 2 upon 3? If I have to make the denominator as 18, I need to multiply numerator and denominator by 6, 
right mm. children? So, 12 upon 18. What about 5 upon 6? If I multiply numerator and denominator by 3, I am going to get the same denominator 18. So, I get 15 upon 18. Likewise, for 4 upon 9, can you tell me Neve, with what number I need to multiply to get 18 in the denominator? It is 2. Very good, very intelligent. So, 4 into 2 upon 9 into 2 is equal to 8 upon 18. What do you observe children? We have common denominator 18 here. Hence, mm. the required like fractions are 9 upon 18, 12 upon 18, 15 upon 18 and 8 upon 18. Okay? Okay. So, this way we convert and then we compare. Comparison of like fractions, we have rule number 1 as among two fractions with the same denominator, the one with the greater numerator is always greater of the two. I hope you will remember this. For example, 8 upon 9 is greater than 5 upon 9, 7 upon 11 is greater than 6 upon 11 or 9 upon 10 is greater than 7 upon 10. We have another rule here that is among two fractions with the same numerator, the one with the smaller denominator is the greater of the two. Examples 5 upon 6 is greater than 5 upon 8, okay. okay. 3 upon 5 is greater than 3 upon 7, 9 upon 10 is greater than 9 upon 11. I hope it is clear. Yes, ma'am. For addition of fractions now, addition means combining objects in two or more sets. The objects must be of the same type that is we combine bundles with bundles and sticks with sticks. Okay? In fractions, we can only combine pieces of the same size. In other words, the denominator must be the same. Mm. Now, you can see in this addition of fractions with equal denominators. We have here 8 parts out of which one part is shaded as orange. So, it represents 1 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8. Can you see 3 parts are shaded out of 8? If I add these two fractions children, what will be my answer? 1 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8. Is four yes, upon you eight. are right, it is 4 upon 8, beautiful. So, we get here the answer is 1 plus 3 upon 8 which is equal to 1 upon 2, yes 4 upon 8 is 1 upon one 2. two. Remember, what type of mistake children do leave in the mm. class? Let me share here. It is a misconcept. Mm. Uh, they add the numerators and they add the denominators also. Oh. That becomes a blunder. Uh, 1 plus 3 upon 8 plus 8 and they write answer as 4 upon 16. Oh. 4 upon 16, 8 plus 8 is 16. So, this is not the right answer children because the denominator tells us how many pieces the whole is divided into. And in this addition problem, we have not changed the number of pieces in the whole. Therefore, the denominator should still be 8, eight. only, right? Okay, ma'am. Now, addition of fractions with equal denominators, children, uh, we have some more examples 2 upon 5 plus 1 upon 5 is equal to 3 upon 5, 6 upon 10 plus 7 upon 10 will be obviously 13 upon 10, which I can convert them into one whole 3 upon 10. This also even in the previous session they had learned how to convert it into mixed fractions. Okay. And 6 upon 15 plus 8 upon 15 is equal to 14 upon 15. Addition of fractions with different denominators, this seems to be little challenging. In this case, we need to first convert them into equivalent fractions with the same denominator. We have 1 upon 3 plus 2 upon 5. An easy choice for a common denominator is multiply the denominators 3 into 5 is 15. If I multiply 1 upon 3 with 5 in numerator and denominator, I will get 5 upon 15. And what about 2 upon 5? If I have to convert the denominator into 15, I will have to multiply numerator and denominator by 3. So, 2 into 3 upon 5 into 3 is equal to 6 upon 15, right? Right. Therefore, 1, plus 1 upon 3 plus 2 upon 5 is equal to 5 upon 15 plus 6 upon 15. That gives me 11 upon 15, right? Right now. Here, addition of fractions with different denominators. Remember one interesting remark here. When the denominators are bigger, we need to first find the least common multiple of the denominator by finding factors. 
if you do not know still prime factorization children no issue you can always multiply the two denominators together it is very safe you can multiply and then you can get the common denominator and then you can compare the numerators ok we can add also easily and now some more exercises are given for you you can look and you can practice for yourself now I have some uh, interesting uh, teaching aid for you you can see here we will be doing one worksheet also here children I think you are able to see this this I have made for children Neve. see yes. this is 2 upon 4 right and let us see this how many parts there are 8 parts, eight parts. 1 2 3 4 5 6, six 7, seven eight. 8 here I have 2 parts green out of 4 equal parts here 4 parts green out of 8 equal parts so how do I write children the green portion here shall I write Neve this as 2 upon 4 yes ma'am am I right yes and here what about the green portion here 4 okay. parts 1 2 3 4 out of total eight, 8 parts uh, can I call them equivalent fractions children yes because see 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4. 4 it is half part yes is this also half 4 1s are 4 two's 4 are. 2s are 8 so this is also equal to 1 upon 2 this is also equal to 1 upon 2 such type of fractions are known as equivalent fractions ok got it Anna? Hmm. we can also uh, use this aid to understand see I have 1 upon 4 here and suppose I have yes now tell me are they equivalent fractions it is 1 yes. upon yes see I have 1 upon 4 yes ok what about this is it 2 upon eight. 8 yes are they equal yes 2 1s are and 2 4s are ok this is very simple teaching aid children you can make yourself and you can play with it ok we can use it for addition of uh, fractions subtraction of fractions alright and also compare uh, bigger or smaller, smaller fractions right ok now see equivalent fractions we have one more uh, teaching aid here two or more fractions representing the same part of a whole are known as equivalent fractions just observe this this is one big chapati or roti you can consider and here half I have made so this is 1 upon 2 ok yes. and here I have made this chapati into four parts ok out mm. of which two are shaded here green alright here I have how many parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 4 out of 8 are colored. So, here I have this uh, figure which is half yes. uh, colored as green. This is also half is not it? Yes. See if I reduce it is it 2 1s are 2 2s are 1 by 2. Here also 4 1s are 4 2s are. Two's are. One by so, two. all are equal to 1 upon 2 is not it okay. all right now I have an interesting activity children here just see Neve we have hmm. uh, an activity to find the sum with different denominators which is a bit challenging for students hmm. we have 1 upon 4 plus 2 upon 3 hmm. how to add them we have different denominators is not it so hmm. what we do is we have taken a grid here which is having 12 parts see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, mm. 10, 11, 12. Here 3 plus signs are there. Yes. 3 plus signs they represent 3 up out of 12. Yes. Am I right? Yes ma'am. That is equal to 1 upon 4. Exactly. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Now I have taken another grid having 12 parts. In this you know how many parts I have taken? 8. 1, eight. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it represents how much? 8 upon 12. 12. So, 8 blue plus signs will represent 8 upon 12 that is 2 upon 3. Yes. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to add them you know Neve. What yes. I will do? I will take those 3 plus signs which are red in color I have written here mm. and these 8 
plus signs which are blue in color I have written here. Now let me count them all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we have total how many? 11 which are shaded out of 12, 12. is not it? So, fraction represented by total is 11 plus signs, yes. is not it? Yes. So, I have 1 upon 4 plus 2 upon 3 to be 11 upon 12. 12. I hope it is clear children. Was yes, that easy? Yes. Yes. You can try out this with different numbers. Okay. You can have these uh, papers, grid squared papers and you can play with the signs and you can add denominators. Uh, when the denominators are different, you can find the sum. Okay. Now, addition of like fractions children, we discussed about the rule. Uh, sum of like fractions is sum of their numerators upon common denominator. You can take down this question and you can try for your own 4 upon 9 plus 2 upon 9 calculate 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8 plus 5 upon 8 all right. So, I hope uh, you have understood how to add the like fractions and unlike fractions and you, know? yes. you also understood about equivalent fractions. Absolutely. Yes, we have homework for you on the screen children you can take down and you can try for yourself. And I hope you will be able to do them in case of any doubt you can get back to us. Definitely it was an interactive session by Swanlata ma'am and the way she taught us absolutely that's mesmerizing me. Uh, the way she uh, elaborate everything and explain everything was commendable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Swanlata ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much ma'am uh, for coming us uh, for coming to coming for coming for here like for us here. Uh, now uh, it's time to take a leave but you don't need to go anywhere because a one hour session is waiting for you on the other side of the session and that is to uh, uh, the title is stop motion animation just may up seeking a is a banana Shri Amol Kisan Hankare se filal ke liye is live session me itna hi mujhe aur hamari guest Swanlata Sharma ma'am ko dijega ijazat thank you for joining us have a good day